We're back, WWE 2K24. Um, apparently, there's another new locker code out. So I guess for SummerSlam. So let's take a look at it. It should be... I always struggle with some of these. I struggle with all of them, really. <laughs> um, but... Let's see. Let's give her a try here. That is not right, so it's just there. Okay, so mine, what, unless I typed it wrong, it's WWE 2K at SMMRSLM. So let's give it a go. Hopefully that's right. Um, and yes, that was the right code. So I think this is supposed to be some packs. So let's go look at those packs here. Okay, so we did get, we got a Singlet Supreme, so we got Deluxe Heat 2, and a SummerSlam Deluxe 2. So let's open them, see what we get. Um, hopefully we get something from the sets. I don't, not, I'm, I'm thinking with three packs, we probably will not get a card from the packs. But there's a wallpaper. And a silver Superstar Series 1 Alba Fire. So, starting out, oh, we did get Collector's Level 13 set done, so that gives us 3,000 MFP, which is always welcome. Uh, even if the packs are terrible, <laughs> at, least, at least with the MFP, we get a chance to open them. Um, so, Heat Series 2 Deluxe Pack. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Nothing good, doesn't look like. Hopefully it's something out of the heat packs, but I don't think we will. Get some duplicates. Get a Trish Stratus Manager. And a Chelsea Green Super Series, Series 2. So, I don't know. I'm not sure how many packs. I think this is 8 or 10 packs I've opened now. That I have not got a card from that specific pack. It's all been either duplicates or Superstar Series. One or two. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. So, this is our last chance. I don't think we'll get one from the SummerSlam. I, this is like with the third or fourth pack I'm open from it. Third, fourth, I don't know. Um, anything. Didn't get a diamond. Got a Superstar Series 1 Chuck McWagon, because everybody needs a Chuck McWagon. Get cosmetic. And the Super Star Series 2 Wesley. I mean, I, it's just, right now, the, the packs just aren't giving me anything. They aren't giving me anything, man. It just really, like, when you don't, when you don't even get, when you don't even get cards from the packs that you're pulling from. It's just, I mean, it's, that's even worse than duplicates. Like, the, like duplicates last year get, could get, could get you a little bit down, you know, getting duplicates. That was kind of one of those things like, uh, more duplicates. But this is just, because I mean, you know, it, toward you know, when I was doing like faction wars, I would be opening like, I don't know, 60, 70, 80 packs sometimes I would get during a month on from faction wars, because I did a lot of faction wars. And so you would get a lot of duplicates. I mean, I, I would open sometimes 30 packs trying to get just one card that I needed to complete the sets. I mean, in the whole thing. And, you know, I would go 20, 30, I would go, I was not to go all... 30 packs without getting a card that I needed, because, I mean, it, or there would be duplicates, you know? And you understood that. That was a thing. And the, the return on duplicates was bad, but you know, this is just... When you can't even get a card from a pack that, that the pack is named for, that is just... I don't know, it's just a slap in the face. I'm sorry. It's just a terrible, terrible thing. Um... I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the thought process was behind on that from 2K. Um, I'm assuming it was. I'm assuming they had a very large discussion on how to make the game worse. Because <laughs> that's what they did. That's what they succeeded at. So, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, if 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 they want some help fixing it, you know, I'm I'm open. I'm open. I'm here. You know. Um, you know, I'm I'm okay with cons work consulting work. <laughs> I 
I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, obviously, obviously we, you know, as a gamer, as a person that game, has gamed for decades, you know, you, you, kind of, you, you do, you do want to, you do want a challenge, you want something that's going to challenge you, you want something, you know, you want the, I guess, dopamine hit from, like, opening stuff and finding stuff, you don't want, like, everything to be handed to you, because that's, that's not fun at all either, um, but, but this, man, this is just terrible. So we also got some new... We also got some new live events coming up, so coffee gets the cream. Oh, God. Such a terrible name. <laughs> 25 hour MFP. Then we got Lucha Dragon, which I, have, I haven't looked at these. I'm looking at them. I mean, y'all probably may have seen these. I'm just now looking at them as I'm doing this video. Um, that one uses the Faction Boss, Ray Mysterio, which I don't have because I haven't bothered playing Faction Wars in a while. Um... What is this? It's just... In fact, it's just one ticket. Is it one ticket? I don't care how many tickets it is. You get... You get... I have to repeat my conversation about free agents, don't I? So, at least, at least one of the things about this free agent is this is a higher tier than what we're currently getting. So, that is a plus. But... But, 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 but... But free agents should never be the primary reward for anything. They should be a secondary reward. May well, I I don't think they should exist. I'll be honest. Free agent cards should not exist. They should they should they should all just cease to exist because that is just a stupid idea. But you know, if like three months ago we were getting we had like a secondary reward for a pink diamond, that was really nice that you could use you know three or four or five times to do a live event you're struggling with, that would be a good use of a free agent card. A, f a free agent card that you really can't use for anything uh, other than you know, other than three matches, that don't, that you, you can't like substitute them in for something that you're struggling with, that is one tier above and is the primary apex reward for a thing is a terrible idea. I mean, free agent cards are terrible ideas anyway. But, but this one, this one, I mean, it's, it's terrible. <laughs> and you have to play the Terrible Faction Wars in order to get the card to even try to get it. <sighs> and it has three match stipulations. What are, what are the match stipulations? Let's see. I just want to see what the match stipulations are. Okay. Death from above. Dive attack damage is doubled. In the finish, superstars have unlimited finishers. Okay, so you both have some unlimited finishers, so that's okay. Superstars have unlimited stamina. So see, that actually helps the player out, the unlimited stamina, because the, the computer doesn't really have stamina. <laughs> it really doesn't. It really doesn't have stamina. Uh, they may act like they get tired sometimes, but they really don't. They really don't have stamina. Um, and then we have this. SOTM, Roman back to basics. D Master, Roman Reigns. For a 92 Jimmy Uso. Uh, I will. Uh, I mean, it seems like it be with like all the. Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of a kind of a lower tier diamond to that Jimmy Uso there with the badges. Um, I don't see. I didn't look at this one. Oh my god! Seriously, seriously, this is a <laughs> this is an amethyst card. This is an amethyst card. This is literally an amethyst card. Playing dress up as a pink diamond. And it's not even, it's a free agent pink diamond. You only get to use it three times. It's not even a keeper pink diamond. Like, could you have not, if it's a three, if you can only use it three times, could you have not just literally made this thing beastly? Could you not just like, just loaded it down with like, the best badges? But you put crap on it. Oh. <laughs> like, 2K really does need to hire a consultant. I'm just going to throw that out there. <laughs> oh, they're so just the design team, man. I don't know. I don't know who's making the decisions, but it's not good. Um, okay, so this is Rikishi. I don't really like the Rikishi cards the way they play, to be honest with you. But you have to have the Superstar Series 2 Roman Reigns. Um, 
So this one's, you know, Sting Like a Bee Tier 2, which should be a little bit, it should be at least a Tier 3. Really, it should be a Tier, really, a Diamond should have at minimum two, at minimum two to three gold cards, gold, gold badges. Because um, otherwise it's just, it's just, it's just an Amethyst. Um, so it should, so this one does have Red Wars, it could be heavy handed. It's, it's okay. I don't, well, I want to look at, I want to look at this one more time. I just want to look at this one more time. Okay, that's resiliency. I just wondered if he even had anything there. Okay. So then we have Roman Reigns Superstar Series 1. Gold, gold card you have to use for this one. And we got a Drew McIntyre. And, okay, it has fight badges. Uh, Sting like a bee. Merciless. Rob Roger Tier 2. It's okay. It's okay. It's 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 a low tier diamond, even though it says it's ninety four. And then we have Roman and the Architect, which uses the WrestleMania. So I do have this card, so cool. And this one gets a persona, Seth Rollins. And this thing like a be merciless, tier tier three and one. All the answers, which I'm not a big fan of. Oh, we see it come in gold, which I totally love. So I mean, this is this is a workable card. I don't I don't really like I don't really like the swiftness, dot bomber, and whipmaster. I can kind of live without. But to me, those are I don't really do a whole lot of aerial attacks. Movement speed. I don't really feel that movement speed is that interesting, um, especially on like a you know like a higher tiered card anyway, because they typically have they're typically fairly fairly quick anyway and I really don't use weapons so for me those three badges are kind of throwaway badges but it does have you know some decent badges I always see it come in gold I do like so this is probably the best card in the bunch um, and I'm not just saying that because I have the Roman Reigns card there um, still got to get the uh, still got to get the uh, I mean it's got custom rule stipulations massive it's got lots of stuff in it um, what is custom here I, see, I hate the way they do this. I really do. Um, cause I don't know what's... Oh, Hill's High, maybe? I'm not sure what's custom here. I'm not sure. And then All in Reflexes, Reversal Bun, bun Props not appear. And I'm kind of okay with that, because I, I feel like I almost do better with reversals when the prompts like I feel like when the prompts pop up it always tells me I'm early or late whereas if they don't pop up I typically hit them I'm not sure if that's because the prompts are bugged or what um, the HUD not visible I do kind of kind of prefer to have the HUD visible because you can tell what you're doing but um, and then <sighs> he starts with three finishers which is just and he consumes half the stamina which I don't I don't really believe Computer uses stamina. To be honest with you, at least it's, it doesn't have the same, it doesn't have anywhere near the same restrictions as the player does. So I don't know. Is it a TLC match? So I don't know. We'll see. It's probably a hard match, but um, probably a little bit of a worthwhile one to get if you have the. I mean, if you have the card, it's definitely worth trying to get. Um. But anyway, that right there, man. <laughs> that right there is just. That's just that is just that is just the most ridiculous. That is just right there. It's just the most one of the, well, I can't say the most ridiculous thing. There's a lot of ridiculous things. That is just the most insane thing I've seen right there. Those badges on this stupid free agent card. <sighs> and they did it to Ricky. I mean, Ricky. Ricky deserves Ricky. Ricky deserves way more respect than that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he just de he deserves way more respect than that. I just can't believe. I mean, if you're gonna do that, do it to do it to do it to one of your made up guys you use out there. You know, don't do it. Don't do it to Ricky, man. Uh, anyway, anyway, that's the video for today. So you know, hopefully, hopefully, if you got the cards, these won't be these won't be too bad of a. They all have modifiers and stipulations, so I don't know. I feel that like this one will probably be terrible with the gold. But anyway, if you have those, good luck for them. Looks like they're coming up like one every week. Those S, S -O Superstar of the Month, so one every week. So I guess that's maybe that's what we'll see. We'll see Superstars of the Month going forward 
and we'll see an event every week, maybe using their cards. Eh, there's worse. There's worse ideas. I would, I would prefer. I think it would be much more interesting. It would be much more. This is me talking. Um, it'd be much more interesting if they did these superstars of the month type things like this one. If they did that like every month, and they just let you, they let you use whichever like it was Roman Reigns, and you could use any Roman Reigns card that you had. You know what I'm saying? I think that would be more interesting if it was just like you know how they do like any diamond, any bronze, any whatever. If it was like any Roman Reigns or any Asuka or any whatever, whoever you want to say, any Jimmy Uso. And you could use any of those. I think that would make it. I think that would be a. I think that would be a, a good, a decent feature to go. But of course, that doesn't sell cards. <laughs> so that never happened. But anyway, good luck with the packs. Good luck with the packs uh, from the live from the locker code. Uh, I do appreciate you joining us, and we will see you next time.